in with us on Y254 updates and if you're just joining us tonight we'll be talking about personal development and to help us talk about this topic tonight we have Anita Mbaye who is a youth leader she is a former student leader at Daystar University and also a PR practitioner if you want to be part of this conversation talk to us across our social media platforms that is at Y254 channel you can also reach me at Patricia Muriuki. Anita welcome to our studios. Thank you so much Patricia for having uh, me such an honor. You're very welcome. Uh, you. I would like us to first uh, start off we mostly get to hear about personal development yes and i'm sure people watching us tonight have heard someone mention or say something about personal development but i don't really think that probably people really get to dive in and really understand what it is and that is why i thought it is good for you to come and help us understand this so to just start off for someone who's watching us tonight and they don't know what uh, personal development is okay. would you just give us a very brief definition of what personal development is this is actually very simple personal development refers to activities or um, or things that are used to build um, identity and create better self-awareness uh, mm -hmm. among people um, so that you 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 you're able to uh, create better relationships there's also it becomes very important in, of course, uh, employability, mm -hmm. uh, building personal relationships. And this um, personal development basically helps you to holistically embrace your life as you should. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, thank you. I like the fact that you use holistically helping you because that means that personal development cuts across every aspect of your life, whether it's financial, whether it's social. So yes. to really now look at what personal development entails, we know there is self-worth, there is self-awareness, and there's self-identity. Uh, these are the three things that I really like us to tackle tonight. Okay. And I'd like us to start with self-worth. Absolutely. What is self-worth and how has it also helped you? Uh, to become a better person or for someone who is watching us tonight how can they be able to integrate the self-worth into helping develop themselves well um self-worth is basically very simple it's it's just an embrace of oneself the value of oneself mm -hmm. and of course when you talk about self-worth especially we as ladies it, it gets a little bit um uh, problematic mm -hmm. especially in an era of digital age whereby everything is on social media yes. everything looks so glossy mm -hmm. and sometimes um when media is constantly feeding us uh figures or or just um sort of giving us expectations of what we should be and what we should be doing mm -hmm. sometimes you could feel like yourself what is under attack mm -hmm. so um basically what we can do is um, learn to have an affirmation system mm -hmm. uh, because most of the times you realize that um, sometimes people don't um, validate themselves enough mm -hmm. and also taking in compliments okay yeah for example Patricia, you have a very nice shirt, right? Thank you. Um, most of the people would, the first thing would be to criticize themselves mm -hmm. and probably think that you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. So self-worth um, basically um, is, is built by, first of all, identifying your competencies. Mm -hmm. For example, um, Patricia, you're a very good news host. You're a very good news anchor. Thank you. Um, someone else could be a very, very good in mathematics. They mm -hmm. could be uh, very good in writing. They mm -hmm. could be very good in cooking. Mm -hmm. So once you identify what you're good in, then you're able to, um, of course, create your self-worth. Mm -hmm. That this is what I am, this is what I can take, this is what I can do. Mm -hmm. um, of course, the list goes on, on and on. And of course, um, it's also very important to eliminate self-criticism. Just like I told you, um, sometimes we really judge ourselves harshly. Yeah. And um, s sometimes it's good to, it's good to um, develop um, a system that allows you to, um, you know, take in compliments. If mm -hmm. you've done something good, allow yourself to savor the glory, mm -hmm. right? Um, if someone told you that you probably um, worked on a project very well, mm -hmm. learn to take in the compliments. And by taking in the compliments, you're able to um, build on yourself more. Okay. Uh, we all know, I really like the definition and the explanation and actually the practicality of how you've really explained that. Yeah. 
But we all know that for me to really be so much aware of my self-worth, for yep. me to become a better person as far as self-worth is concerned, I yep. need to know who I am, where is now self-identity comes from. Yes. So how have you been able, probably, it is best if you give an example based on probably your own experiences, yep. how has self-identity now impacted your self-worth in your life? Um, self-identity basically touches... Um, for you as a person mm -hmm. like i am i am nyawera mm -hmm. i am um, i am a youth leader mm -hmm. i'm passionate about women i like doing blah 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 mm -hmm. so once you've once you've been able to identify what you want mm -hmm. you can then be able to um steer towards a particular direction that you want to mm -hmm. yes Okay, uh, we know that with all these aspects that we're talking about today, when we're talking about personal development, it means that we need to be able to be people who can probably even stand in front of people and defend ourselves when we have to, or address people, or even be uh, people who can come uh, up with uh, solving certain issues in the community. And yes. having you here to, uh, tonight as a leader, as a youth leader, and more so as a women uh, leader, yep. what do you think is the importance of personal development in leadership? for someone who is already in leadership yeah. and for people, young men and young women out there who are uh, aspiring to one day take up a certain role, whether it's in uh, secondary school, whether it's in campus, whether yeah. it's in colleges or even on the national uh, arena. Yeah, that's a very good question, Patricia. Um, one thing with, of course, um, personal development um, as a leader, it helps you, first of all, um, identify know yourself better mm -hmm. and by knowing yourself better you're able to create more time for yourself mm -hmm. and also create time for others mm -hmm. because as a leader you're actively involved um you know in decision making you you of course constantly um engaging with people mm -hmm. and of course making decisions that improve them mm -hmm. so one important aspect is time uh once you've developed yourself and, of course, realized, of course, your weaknesses, mm -hmm. your strengths, you're able to um, create time mm -hmm. um, and become a better time manager because, of course, time is also very critical. Mm -hmm. So how do you create, you're able to um, learn how to create time for yourself mm -hmm. and also um, time for the people that you lead. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I could possibly touch on is that um, personal development is also very critical in developing emotional intelligence. Mm -hmm. And emotional intelligence is very good as a leader because it enables you to build teams, you're able to, um, of course, um, pick things you know in a social setting there's so much to pick on from mm -hmm. so emotional intelligence will also inform certain approaches like um, I know today Patricia is probably coming from a depressed point of view mm -hmm. uh, Patricia has really worked on this project she's mm -hmm. probably frustrated as a leader how I approach Patricia and how I'm able to encourage her so that she's able to uh, of course reach her fullest potential mm -hmm. or create better results is um, I have to be very careful in terms of how I address that and how I could of course encourage her to do better so emotional intelligence is also very good and it is through proper personal development you can be able to touch um, of course on that another thing that I could probably add Patricia mm -hmm is that um, personal development also cultivates a lot of resilience. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, leadership is a very, um, it's a very tough space mm -hmm. uh, whereby you have, to, you have to be strong for the people that you lead and people who look up to you. Mm -hmm. So by building resilience is knowing your breaking points, um, knowing how much you can take, how much you cannot. And when you do that, you're able to um, create an internal resilience that is, um, of course, that enables you to shield you f um, when you're leading people or directs you better, so okay. to speak. Okay. Uh, I would like us to touch about, we know that for me to become a better journalist, I can choose to probably take a certain training. Absolutely. For, for you to become a better PR practitioner, you can take a certain probably course to get, be very aware about all these things. Yes. And also for you, uh, for every person watching us tonight, there are certain things they've had to do to become better, probably yes. within their careers, in their relationships. Yeah. So when we talk about personal development, what how can we now grow how can we build our personal development what do we do okay that's a very good question patricia 
First of all, um, the easiest way would, would be to getting resources mm -hmm. that, um, of course, um, enable you to study on a certain subject matter. Mm -hmm. Like you asked, you want to be a better journalist. Mm -hmm. So one thing would be, of course, getting resources that enable you and empower you to be a better journalist. Mm -hmm. um, and another very critical thing is also getting a mentor. Mm -hmm. uh, in this journalistic space, I'm also a journalist, but on the peer side, yeah. um, how can you best, can you approach um, journalists who have gone before you? Mm -hmm. um, because definitely there are things that you know that you don't know at this age, Patricia. Mm -hmm. um, so mentors are very important because they get to provide guidance mm -hmm. um, because they've been there. They've seen it, seen it, done it. Mm -hmm. So it gets easier for them to direct you. Mm -hmm. um, when you also talk about mentors, um, it's also very important to get, um, if you can, it's good to get mentors of uh, of different genders. For example, I can get a woman mentor and a man mentor, mm -hmm. and this also helps um, in balancing of opinions, mm -hmm. uh, because what a woman mentor knows, a male mentor probably has a different perspective, mm -hmm. or a better perspective into that that can be able to. Um, of course, when I marry and eat this and this, mm -hmm. I get a better outcome yeah, out of sure. it. Um, another thing for personal development is also self-discipline because mm -hmm. um, if I want to become a better journalist, if I want to become a better leader, I must be willing to follow these rules and of course stay committed to um, of course a particular regimen or mm -hmm. um, set of rules that I've set for myself. Mm -hmm. And um, once you've identified what you want to improve in and of course follow uh, be disciplined enough to stick to your that agenda mm -hmm. that can be very achieved okay yes. uh, we also uh, have validation absolutely uh, we know validation is something that really uh, impacts or builds a person in a very uh, big way especially yeah. uh, when you talk about women and ladies and young girls yes what do you think really is the impact of validation in a person's journey mm -hmm. i would like you to relate this on probably yeah. the current numbers that we've had on teen pregnancy. Oh, okay, absolutely. Do you think that it's because probably our parents or some parents do not say it enough to their children, okay. do not acknowledge them enough uh, yeah. for them to feel that they're getting it uh, from home or from another person who is of importance so that when they get it now from probably men, they yeah. feel like, wow, absolutely. this is a trophy. As so what is your take on that? Okay. I think Patricia, you raised a very uh, critical point here. Um, in this COVID-19 period, you've had a lot of um, the teenage pregnancies have been off, ch off charts. Mm -hmm. And you look at the numbers and wonder, are this really, yeah. I mean, how? It's really shocking, especially now. With Absolutely. COVID. How yeah. did this even happen in the mm -hmm. first place? Yes, indeed. Uh, validation is very important. And if I could link that to myself, mm -hmm. um, I was very lucky to come from um, a family that really validates and allows you to, uh, of course, do as you like and support your dreams. Mm -hmm. uh, my father, Mr. Mbai, they must mm -hmm. be watching me at home, Mr. Mbai mm -hmm. and Mrs. Mbai mm -hmm. and my sister Gavoni, mm -hmm. my aunt, hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I come from a family whereby I was very well validated. Mm -hmm. I've been very, uh, I have been always been a very outspoken child and I've always fiercely, you know, f for, uh, followed the leadership uh, path mm -hmm. and I have not, they, they have never felt like, like they needed to silence me or probably tell me like, you don't need to tone down, you know, do this. Mm -hmm. They've always been very um, free with me. And I think that environment has really um, enabled me to become the person that I have that, that, that I have become. Mm -hmm. uh, so being validated from a very young age is very important uh, because first of all, um, it lets girls know that they are worth it, mm -hmm. even the young men, that yeah. they can do it and they have all that they need to go out there and conquer the world. Um, during this COVID-19 period, of course, having so many um, children at home, mm -hmm. um, and especially in an African contest whereby affirmations and yeah, validations. Sometimes hard, hard <laughs> they're hard to come They're hard to come by. <laughs> yeah, very hard to come through. Yes, you're not validated as much. You're not told that you can do it. You're not told that you're beautiful. You're mm -hmm. not told that you're capable. Um, sometimes when that, comes, when that affirmation comes from outside, uh, an outside source, um, 
it tends to be a little bit problematic mm -hmm. in that um, these people are found um, a new territory whereby they are being um, affirmed and this being very young girls it's very easy for them to be misled and also being taken advantage of yeah. so what we're saying is that validation is very important to all the parents watching us at home um, validate your children tell them that they're capable tell them that they're handsome tell them that they're beautiful tell them that they're um, they're of course, just like the Bible says, wonderfully and fearfully made. Yeah, and true. <laughs> of course, um, and that, that, that makes a lot of difference. However small or minor it seems, that goes a really long way. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you are a youth leader. Absolutely. You have been, yeah. you've served in your campus uh, yeah. uh, life. You are a PR practitioner, which means that you've, you, you so much, you have been on the leadership space for yeah. a very long time. And I can say for a, as a very young person, because I happen to know your age, because <laughs> we are friends. <laughs> what really? Do you have any plans? <laughs> any plans probably uh, for the future as far as leadership is concerned? Or are you just okay with what you've been able to achieve okay. so far? Or do we have expectations of probably seeing you years down the line being somewhere in the country <laughs> looking for certain <laughs> positions? Please, let. would you tell us that? Well, um, Patricia, of course, um, I've been working on a lot of community projects mm -hmm. um, during the COVID, before the COVID-19 pandemic, mm -hmm. we've been running a lot of uh, teenage pregnancy campaigns. Mm -hmm. um, we've been able to do that in a number of counties, but of course, this it's it sort of halted. Mm -hmm. um, we've also been doing a lot of food mobilization for the vulnerable in the society. As mm -hmm. you know, um, things have not been really easy for most of us. Mm -hmm. And th there's a lot cooking and coming up. Uh, especially in my county, Tharakanithi County. Mm -hmm. And um, for now, I'm at the community level. Mm -hmm. I'm working with the women. I'm working with the youth. And if they tell me that they would like me to lead them or they would like me to do a little bit more, mm -hmm. then I'll be open to that. That's okay. all I can say for now. So I, I hope people watching us from that county, you have a leader here. Yeah. Uh, but getting away from the leadership. You don't know my county? <laughs> there are Kanivi County just mentioned Definitely. that. Definitely. And yes. as any advice to young people, to young men, young women watching us tonight, but especially to the young uh, ladies who are watching us tonight and they would like to get into leadership, what advice do you have for them? Probably something that you are able to embrace that gave you the courage to start at a really young age. What I can say is that every young woman, young man watching me is that you can do it. You don't have to wait for people to push you. You have got all it takes. So go right in. Mm -hmm. Go right in, push for your space, and you can definitely do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was now, as we probably now come to winding up all this topic, yeah. I was personal development. How is everything that you've been able to talk about today, the self-worth, the self-awareness, the self-identity, the validation, how has this now uh, probably shaped the young Anita Bae? who is a youth leader, how has this shaped you? Um, I've been really lucky to um, discover myself from a really young age in terms of what I want to do um, and what I want to achieve. Um, what I can say is that take every opportunity to advance yourself and your goals mm -hmm. and don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. um, if you feel like you're an entrepreneur, um, you, you want to start a small business, then do it. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, have the mentors, have people who can guide you. And it's also very important to get um, real people, mm -hmm. legitimate people who can, of course, guide you through. Mm -hmm. So go for it. That is it, Patricia. Mm -hmm. this, this, this no so Sugar, much yeah there's, there's no, no so much world cake. around this. So uh -huh. just go for it. You can, you're capable, just dive right in. Okay. Yeah. As you wind up, I'd like us to, talk, to, to touch on something. I feel we'll not do justice to this topic if we yeah. don't talk about uh, mentorship. Yeah. Just like a minute of your time. Yeah. You've talked about mentorship, yeah. and uh, this is something that I can also see has helped me grow Absolutely. as an individual as far as personal development is concerned. Having yeah. a mentor, someone that you go to. Yeah. For someone who is watching us tonight and they're wondering, how do I identify a mentor? I have this person. Yeah. What really should they look out for okay. when someone is looking for someone they can? call their mentor okay i think that's a very good question patricia because when you talk about mentors mm -hmm. 
Um, I've seen a lot of people do make a lot of mistakes in that you attend a very good conference. Mm -hmm. We we have very nice speakers who articulate or, or even celebrities and mm -hmm. what you're doing is running after them asking them can you be my mentor mm -hmm. that is a no-go zone that's you don't do that mm -hmm. a mentor is someone who um who you admire and someone who is in a field that you want to gain expertise from mm -hmm. so you really have to get someone who is um who is relevant to what you're doing mm -hmm. so relevance is the first thing you look in a mentor mm -hmm. Um, the second thing I can talk about is friendship. Mm -hmm. You need to have sort of a relationship with this person mm -hmm. and it needs to be a respectful relationship. So do, do you respect this person? Because respect is very important. Yes. Because Patricia, if I don't respect you then it gets a little bit difficult, yeah, right? True. Yeah. Um, the other thing would be um, of course to um, be very professional about mm -hmm. it because you've heard of mental mentee relationships sometimes it's go yeah, off charts. Very weird and so it's very good to establish boundaries in okay. that Patricia is my mentor. Um, we we email. We probably have coffee once per month. Mm -hmm. We talk about um, career development. Okay. You know, they, they guide you. They do one, two, three. Mm -hmm. It's very important to be professional. Okay. Another thing I could say is that um, it, needs, it needs to be, um, and okay, this is a mistake that I've observed. Mm -hmm. A mentor should be solely for mentorship purposes. Because okay. sometimes I've seen people who have spoiled relationships with mentors because they probably asked for money mm -hmm. or they, you know, they brought other issues. Everyone has issues. Okay. But if they're your mentor, let them guide you towards your desired path not um you know meeting other needs yes that meeting, you meeting meet other for needs yourself. <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you very much yeah. anita for really finding the time thank to you. be with us here tonight you've yeah. talked about a lot that i am sure people who are watching us yeah. have really picked on certain things and for me yeah. what i've picked is for parents watching us tonight, validation is very important. Start validating your children as young as uh, two years or even one, even before they really get to understand what it is that you're saying, because you get to build a child who has a very good self-esteem, who has a very good self-worth, and above all, someone who really gets to understand what it is that they want, when and when, what do they want, and what time really do they want it. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. Anita, thank you for being with us and that Thank is all we hand for you here tonight until next time have yourselves a very good night my name is patricia moriuki